The museum was dark, quiet, with that special brand of quiet that made me jump at even the smallest of noises. 11 p.m. was minutes away. Oz was going to show, right? I could ask him any question I wanted, any question at all, that might be enough to save all of my friends. I just had to make the end of the month. I just had to make the end of the month, right? End of the month, and then it's all over. All my friends survive. It's not the most ideal, but if that's the price, so be it. <laughs> <laughs> I know he means having to like get through the trip, obviously. <laughs> but the but the placement of it's not the most ideal immediately makes me think like I guess Roswell gets to live. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> All my friends survive. It's not the most ideal. <laughs> if I if I had to shoulder the burden of sadness for the sake of my friends, I, I was okay with it. Hopefully after the month was up, I could maybe have a different vacation to make up for lost time. If there was a chance of something before if there was a chance of something before everyone moved away. Like a, you know, like, like a password two. <laughs> <laughs> they, they set up a sequel a fourth goes, of the way through the novel. Yeah. Just he just goes on a, back to it. He just goes on a vacation after this to celebrate <laughs> that they got through this and they try to have another normal vacation and it's, it is another death game. <laughs> You're like, motherfucker, how does this keep happening to me? It's like it's like how in Phoenix Wright every case is about all the people closest to him somehow, and he's yeah. and he's somehow allowed to to be a lawyer on those cases. Oh man, <laughs> You're like, Funny. damn! This time, it, wow! This time it's Edgeworth, really. All right, fuck. How? <laughs> oh man. Next is gonna be Gumshoe, I guess. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Which just made me sad thinking about it, huddled up on the floor of the museum, looking around and letting my mind wander. I wonder how many of them will keep in touch. There was like, there was every likelihood that I'd be the only one left. Even those that I'd assumed wouldn't be around forever were looking to go away. Is Dean planning on leaving? I don't know. I sat and waited. The room was still, quiet, and cold. Where was Dean? Where was Orlando? I shivered and checked my phone. Where was Dean? You know where Dean was. You left Dean with the others. <laughs> Sleeping is what he's supposed to be doing. 11.30. He's late. I headed to the room, annoyed. I needed to check something. Oz? I didn't bother hiding my tone. This was it. The moment I'd found out, I'd find out if this was some cruel prank played by one of my friends or not. Oz? Are you there? Silence. At least for the first few moments before, sure enough, I heard the radio switch on. I am here. You sound annoyed. Is everything okay? You're right, I'm annoyed. Where were you? I did what you said. There it was, though. Unless someone else had left their room, it was easy enough to confirm. Oz was indeed a ninth person within the house. I was in the library. No, you weren't. I... You were in the museum. Wait, what? I designated the library as the meeting location. You opted to go to the museum. It's the same room, isn't it? Reg eh, regrettably spelled wrong, I think. Regrettably, it is not. The library even has multiple entrances. Well, where is it? I can come right now, honest. <clears throat> is the Roswell Oz? Because Roswell also talked about how the museum and library, I think, are <laughs> technically distinct. We never, Didn't he bring that up? We still haven't been to the library, right? Even though we've like explored yeah. this place. Yeah. There was silence for a few moments, and I was about to storm off, assuming the answer was no. I have an offer. I froze, looking back into the room with my hand on the door handle. One last shot. I have a theory I need to test. You saved Benson for me. I did not realize that he was a potential target either, and I'm grateful. 
truly so we haven't saved benson at all yet. yeah i'm how did <laughs> it feels we like we skipped benson? a scene uh clarify for me just because i missed it whose room is this right now this is our room where we talked to him and the they're first all place. waiting in dean's room right uh sal's room sal's room that's what it was okay i just wanted to i wanted to clarify that he will be their all salvation right. yep so again tomorrow night same time in the library how do you know about that do you have multiple rooms bugged i have some surveillance i think surveillance spells wrong too but your escapades through the house earlier looking for the gun were loud enough that i could hear do you watch the vault? I do. I watch when I can. I have other responsibilities. A job that is required of me. If you are still interested, ask me about it tomorrow. Wait, but where's the library? I waited for the response, but it never came. The room falling into science. silence. With a sigh, I was forced to concede the point, but... It was good to know that I hadn't missed my chance. This guy just keeps teasing us with the idea that he'll totally answer a question at some point, and we keep just not getting to just have a basic conversation with him about important yeah, things. Yeah, we don't even get to have that conversation like, yeah. at all. <laughs> it's like, it's like ah, you we need to meet in person for trust reasons. I'm like, okay, we've talked three times now. Just fucking tell me <laughs> stuff. <laughs> they're, Come they're, on. they're edging us on the idea of a private conversation we get to have with him when we could just have a private conversation with him right now. <laughs> like, yeah. The only thing I wanted right now was to cuddle up with him. I felt myself go red, chuckling to myself. Was this the feeling of being properly smitten? That at the end of the day, the only thing I wanted to do was cuddle up with, well, you know. <laughs> Part of me felt bad that despite Dean's advances, he wasn't the one I was thinking of. He was the one I was supposed to be dating, right? That's what Orlando had been telling me, that he was a good match. Now I wasn't so sure. Was it bad of me to look forward to getting in some sneaky cuddles? That I could try and play the worried card in hopes of further selfishness on my part? So, <laughs> both Orlando and Dave are getting in bed with Sal under false pretenses because they just want to feel him up. <laughs> they just want to like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll sleep in the same bed as Dave. Yeah, for, for protection. Again. <laughs> Tired. I want... <laughs> I wanted back to the others, and I was meant to stay the night with. They were as I left them, almost, although looking peaceful, quietly sleeping. It brought a relieved smile to my face, knowing that it was another night done, and that none of them had been worried about me as I was gone for over half an hour, and we were trying to stay together for safety. Sal was resting in a position where he was cuddling a pillow, almost as if it were a teddy bear. He was so big and broad, the size difference looked funny. Still... I'd cuddled enough with Orlando that I knew getting some sleep against scales wasn't that uncomfortable, and right now, I wouldn't mind just being near Sal. In a way, he made me feel... safe? Because it was how he'd been opening up of late. Or maybe it was how he seemed so collected despite everything else being so crazy. I laid down next to him, and tried to get comfortable, but the moment I'd found a spot... Uh... I found a spot, Sal reached behind him, scooped me up, and lay me on his front. It was an odd experience, but it wasn't, it wasn't all that uncomfortable. Maybe he was cold and I was warm, and he seemed to believe that this was my spot now. I was out like a light soon after. I had made it through another day. I also knew what my job for tomorrow was going to be. But by this stage, of my body needed to rest. I needed to find the library somehow, and wondered if there was anyone around I could ask. Either way, it was a job for the morning. Day eight. But for reals wow, this time, we made maybe? It. We, we have been it. on day eight before, because this is when Benson dies, but maybe, I guess we saved him? <laughs> Preemptively? Yeah, I guess we saved him, apparently, I guess we were somehow. Just, I guess our search was so loud, it alerted Benson to the fact that he was going to get murdered, is what happened. Or Oz to the fact <laughs> that Benson was going to get murdered, so yeah. Oz will just not send him out, I guess? I guess we just made enough of a noisy mess that 
they've they've saved Benson, not us, essentially. Yeah. So our mystery now is where the library is, I guess. Yeah. Surprisingly, I slept well. Or at least uh, as well enough as I could with so many things running through my head as I lay down. When I awoke, though, I felt my whole body shifting, rising and falling gently, and I realized where I was. Sure enough, I was still on Sal's front, his breathing gently shifting me up and down in a steady rhythm, almost like being rocked to sleep. Looking at him, he seemed to be drooling slightly, although wore a broad smile as he slept. Someone's having a nice dream. No sooner than I'd said it, the Sal snored loudly, shifting in his sleep enough that I fell off his front, now flat on my back next to him. Uh. Sal rolled over onto his side, looking down at me seemingly in a daze, not registering immediately who he was looking at. He's back in his trance face. We held each other's gaze for a, a bit before he seemed to realize, eyes going wide in shock. Oh, good morning. M morning? Uh, everything all right? Yes, just took me a while to remember last night. We kept our voices low so as not to disturb the others, or at least that was my reason for doing so. I hope that wasn't, you know. Sal patted his chest, specifically the spot where I had spent the night. Oh, no, it was comfortable enough. Oh, good. I looked over to Tyson to see if he was as comfortable. If anything, he seemed to be having a bad dream while he clung to a, a, a pillow, growling into it with a scrunched up frown. Even his tail was twitching in irritation. As for Dean, these beds. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm trying to parse how much room there is for four people in one bed, because that is impressive. Uh, as for Dean, he looked much the same way. He was cuddling into a pillow, but his expression was just as pained, almost as if he was trying to sleep still. The fact that people are, like, leaning sideways to have space to cuddle a pillow is like adds to how little space there is. We're like, damn. I'm just imagining how annoying it would be to be in bed with a bunch of furries that have tails that wag. During yeah. their sleep, like I'd be like, "Give me, oh my God, stop hitting me! You're waking me up. Stop yeah. it!" In our own time, we all got up. Not that it took much longer after I'd awoken. Morning, guys. Did everyone sleep all right? Sleep? Maybe got a couple hours at best. Slept? Yeah, not very well. Everything all right? Is it because of the company? Nah, s stuff on my mind. Don't worry about it. You too, huh? Now that feeling. Did either of you want to talk about it? Nah, I'm good. Just need coffee. Coffee sounds great. And a nap later. We could all bond over coffee and nap and we all have this so much in common. <laughs> Should we get sorted and meet up with the others? Maybe a good idea, yeah. More importantly, Dave, did this help? Huh? You, you dork. With what you were worried about. I... I guess so. About doing stuff as a group? Well, I still want that to happen, of course, not just, you know, sleeping with each other. Board games, right? Anything, really. I just... just wanted to stress how important all three of you are to me. And the other three, too, but... But? But? Oh, sorry. In my head, that was Sal. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna have to get along, huh? Right. That might be difficult. Really? Cause of me, huh? Right, but not you specifically. Going to have to kill Roswell. <laughs> <laughs> Roswell, I'm guessing. He was laying into you pretty hard yesterday. 
At least he's grown a pair. That's one way of putting it. It was a little odd. He's not normally that, uh, that much of an asshole. I'm well, sorry, I disagree. He is literally always that much of an asshole and has been that much of an asshole the whole time. It does seem that way, yes. <laughs> well, no, but not really a nicer way of putting it. Look, I get it. I am an ass. I did bad things to him. I deserve it. How long ago, though? Even I heard the stories, but a... Uh, Truth be told, I probably judged you faster than I should have based on him. Oh, wow, you don't fucking say? <laughs> Orlando told me stories, too. For that, I apologize. Fuck it, I get it. No point hiding that I've been an asshole to people in the past. But he's a good person now. I'm getting better, pup. Trying to, at least. But, no buts, pup. For what it's worth, it's admirable, but forgive me for still being cautious. Same here. <laughs> Yesterday helped, though, believe it or not. Oh, yeah? Much like movie night, you're just another person. Compared to stories I've heard, because I've never met you before. <laughs> <laughs> another person is just a weird description of... You can't, like, the idea that someone's changed. I was like, well, you've only heard the biased perspective of the person who hates him. It's just like... The one person who you all just said was being an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> this is the frustration that I've experienced in real life of just having to deal with a friend group where somebody else has preemptively poisoned the well about you. And it's like, cool. Y you, like, <laughs> when somebody's really pissed at you... Their, their version of the story gets pretty warped and one-sided and like they, and they, as people revisit things and are mad about things they get madder and the story gets worse usually and it just like yeah. it, it's, it's like they start treating it like a thing that's happened over and over again and, or is still happening and it's like this continued thing when it's like a thing that happened in the past and they keep bringing it up in this way it's just like it's just not good it's just, it's just sucks to deal with people that have heard gossip about you before they meet you well, yeah, I have my moments. We should go downstairs now, right? Sort out breakfast and whatever. Yeah, plus, we're getting into a fresh set of clothes, too. Alright, guess I'll see you guys downstairs, then. And then they die as they split up. <laughs> Thanks for hosting us in your room, Sal. Next time... Clean your room better so you can host. How is our room dirty? We're never there. <laughs> our room contains a suitcase and a bed, basically, right? I think like, it was an excuse. I think it was yeah. an excuse so that we could talk to Oz. Oh. Hey, maybe I'll do the same. You know, then I don't have to worry about leaving afterwards so I can see and can have a sleep in. I turned to follow Dean before feeling Sal's eyes bore into the back of my head. Dave. Uh, yeah? Close the door, please. Once Dean was gone, I quietly shut the door and looked back to Sal, who was sitting down on the bed. Is everything okay? Yes, for the most part. What about you? I'm fine. I stood awkwardly by the door, unsure if there was more he wanted to talk about. Dave, are you sure? I have concerns about you. Worrying about death. I sighed, wandering back over to the bed to sit next to Sal, rubbing my eyes. Just, you know, this vacation was supposed to be fun, right? But seeing images of people dead not fun have you considered just not messing with the vault if that's what's happening not the solution if it's saving people's lives I but, but what if something happens 
but it's unfair to share shoulder that burden by yourself. Life can be rough. You can have unfortunate tragedies. You have the choice to mess with it more if you want, but you alone must face the consequences of what comes after. We can only help where we can afterwards. Sal, can I ask you for some advice? I'm already giving it. <laughs> advice? About what? What if... What if there was a reason that I had to keep checking in? A reason? Well, if I saw Benson dead, there's that chance that one of our friends killed him, right? Do you really think that? Huh? Do you think that one of your friends would have killed an innocent butler? Takes a lot to kill someone. To have to make that decision and follow through. Do you, Dave, really think that one of us here could do it? I... I felt silly again. Conflicted between what Oz had told me and what Sal was suggesting. If Sal was right, then the only one left was Oz. But why would he warn me about people dying if he was the one behind it? I don't know. That's... unfortunate. But understandable. I don't know if I'd be able to, but... I suppose it's hard to say what one's capable of, depending on the circumstance. What do you mean? If someone was trying to kill you, would you kill to save your life in self-defense? One of your friends tried to kill you, would you be able to fight them off? But who would do that, though? Motherfucker, weren't you just saying that one of your friends could be a killer? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think you're exempt? <laughs> Hopefully no one. But if you're seeing what you're seeing is the truth. Someone's been lying to us. And I don't like the idea of that. So where does that leave us? Honestly, I don't know. I don't mean this to come out the wrong way, but I'm skeptical about what you saw. Maybe it was your imagination. But... I know. Even after you caught me sleepwalking. But admit that these occurrences are hard to accept at face value. All I'm getting from this is that you don't believe me. I believe you enough that if you're upset, I'll try to make you feel better. But I do not readily accept premonitions of death as truth. I didn't know what to say to that. He was right. The only way you could possibly believe it is to experience it yourself. Much like Oz, Sal had thoughts about believing my friends, but claimed to be on, the, on my side. Still, I was torn between how I should be feeling. On one hand, I felt reassured about that Sal was open about wanting to make me feel better, and that my concerns were coming across as real. But on the other hand, he didn't believe what I was seeing. He didn't trust that what I had seen was legitimate. Dave, maybe it's best we head down for breakfast. You could do with some coffee. Wake up a bit. Sal... I'm sorry. Probably making things worse. We are not addressing nearly enough that Orlando saw something. <laughs> yeah. Trust me when I say I care for you, Dave. No, uh, enough that I do a great deal to make sure you're okay. And it just might make might take a little more for me to completely come around to what you're claiming. That's all. Okay. I nodded slowly and stood up, with Sal following a suit. He had a hand on my shoulder, rubbing gently as we walked to the door. 
It made me feel a little better, but if anything it reinforced something that I had assumed might be needed. Sal shut the door behind me, leaving me to my thoughts. Evidence. I needed evidence, some sort of proof that what ha was happening was real, such as Orlando also experiencing it. <laughs> some kind of, like, witness <laughs> that we have already. <laughs> Nodding to myself, I headed back to my room to get changed in preparation for breakfast. I came downstairs, with everyone else arriving within minutes. My eyes looked at each of them in turn, checking them off in my head. The moment that all six of them were in my sights, I sighed out in relief. Good morning, everyone. It was. <laughs> morning. Hope everyone slept all right. I'm still here. Could have been better. <clears throat> Wouldn't have minded if it was a longer rest. I still feel sort of stiff after yesterday. I looked across to Orlando, catching him watching Sal briefly before looking at the ground. Okay, so everyone's accounted for? No one missing? Eyes were on me again, and I shifted nervously on the spot. I couldn't smell blood, or anything amiss as far as I knew. Everyone was fine. Benson included. As far as you know. How do you know? Yeah, yeah you exactly. See, How would you even know? We're just taking that Oz said we saved Benson, but like, well, let's focus you. Where is he? No? Why would anyone be missing? I don't know. While the others started to talk about things, I heard something else. Something that drowned out the conversation in the room. It was the distinctive clacking of shoes on tile, each stride taken with deliberate purpose, measured in equal cadence. Even Roswell, Orlando, and Ty had stopped talking to look towards the door of the dining room. <laughs> there he is out of nowhere. Where have you been? <laughs> It even calls great attention to everyone noticing his presence, like the odd, like it, like which highlights the idea that he just hasn't been around. Standing there, hands clasped behind his back as if nothing was wrong, was Benson, because nothing is wrong. Good morning, gentlemen. It's been so long since he's talked that yes. I don't remember his voice. <laughs> the moment of like, hang on a minute. Yeah. <laughs> All of us watched as Benson kept his pace. Walking around us to the kitchen, he opened the door, looking back at me before calling out. Master Dave, would you mind if you and I had a chat in private? It should not take long. I found myself pointing at myself, with the otter wandering into the kitchen without waiting for an audible reply. He spoke the same way a teacher or parent would, where their question was rhetorical. I, uh... I guess I'll be back, guys. I pushed open the door to the kitchen and closed it behind me, looking around to see if I could spot Benson, finding him near the coffee pot. Um... Benson held a finger to his muzzle, focusing on the coffee brewing for a few more moments before he turned to me proper. I owe you a great deal of thanks, Master Dave. For coming to talk? Benson stroked the ends of his muzzle where the fur bunched up in a sort of mustache, thinking something over. May I be plain? Uh... Apologies, I mean, may I speak in a more casual manner? Oh, uh, of course. That was, that's weird. I don't understand why he didn't understand what he meant there. <laughs> can I, can I speak plainly? What? I mean, can I speak more casually? Oh, that makes perfect sense, yes. <laughs> I think it's just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Just be a person, you weirdo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, Dave, my boy, the master of the house informed me the efforts you went through last night. The... the master? I believe he'd given you the title Oz to go by, yes? I mean, we know this is the Hammond estate, so is it... Oz? Hammond? Hammond? Oz Hammond? Oswald that is the name, Cobblepot. right? Am I making this up? I think it's Hammond. I think that stood out to me. 
Because my previous I think connect... of Wrecking Ball. <laughs> yes, exactly. I think of I think of Wrecking Ball Overwatch Hammond, which he's called he's called over he's called Wrecking Ball in the game, but I insist on calling him Hammond anyway because it's his name. <laughs> uh, and uh, that's all I can think about the whole time. I'm like, I'm just, he's, he's gonna be a hamster. He's gonna be in a big. He's gonna be a hamster, but he's gonna be like a Fallout like like faction deity type character so he's just gonna be like a husk of a hamster kept alive in a in a cyberpunk hamster ball <laughs> like he's like one like one foot like zordon <laughs> just imagining he's just sitting there like when zordon's fucking tube breaks in the power rangers movie and he's just like laying in this pile of crystal <laughs> but it's like old man hamster <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, uh, yeah, him. Uh, so do you work for him? Of course, I'm his butler. Beyond that, however, you fretting over my life is a gesture that has me flattered, or has flattered this old otter, my boy. Truthfully, thank you. Well, uh... I wasn't sure how I should be responding here. Was he just humoring me? Was he sincere about how he, he was feeling about the whole thing? Where had he been while I was go while it was going down anyway? No one mentioned seeing him during the search for the gun after all. As a sign of my gratitude, may I offer some advice? Advice about what? Uh, the thing happening, Dave. <laughs> Once more, Benson's... <clears throat> Benson's had hands stroked his mustache before returning to their place behind his back. Do mustaches exist in this universe? I don't know. I mean, he did just say mustache-like. I also got caught up on that. I was like, have we ever mentioned... I guess they mentioned beards, so by definition, mustaches must also exist. I'm just curious what that would look like. I guess this is not that weird of a... This isn't like a yeah. password thing. This is just like... I'm trying to remember, This is actually, like a how, does, do furries ta how do furry tattoos work <laughs> wait, problem. I'm trying, remember, I'm trying to remember what Orlando looks like now. Does Orlando have a mustache? Mm-hmm. I guess I think mustaches, so. I guess mustaches just just, just exist then. If, Dragon so, whiskers or whatever, maybe. Yeah. If other if other non furry races have mu actual mustaches, then mu furries can have a mustache like thing. That makes sense. I was just like, hang on a minute. What? How do you know what a mustache is? I had to remind myself. <clears throat> Would I be right in assuming that your plans for this evening are to converse with Oz? That's. Well, yes, but if you know his name, can't you tell me? I'm under instruction to not speak as plainly as I am now until you two have spoken proper. But proper why? Proper. Loyalty, my boy. Loyalty. There's no greater pleasure in life for a butler than to serve the house and its inhabitants. What? You are bred for the role, or at least grow into it. For me, there is no more fulfilling purpose. You're a test tube baby, you weirdo. What yeah. the fuck are you talking about? He probably about? is a weird test tube baby. He probably is like a... I still think he's a robot. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think he's, he's like some, a robot, a robot or like with something. A, that could yeah. still be beaten to death. But the, he uh, needs to go to like a, a charging <laughs> station at night. That's why he can only be dispatched on command. Yeah. But I'm just like... That's just, not what the, that's just not what he asked you, Dave. Like, that's not what Dave asked. Dave didn't ask why you won't why you're following orders he asked why you were ordered to not speak to him plainly that's just yeah. that's just blatantly the incorrect answer the downside however is that your whims are beholden to another sometimes to your detriment <laughs> yeah you'd think that's a pretty big you have no agency or autonomy yeah, yeah it's kind of questionable died i am getting off track yeah you didn't answer the question He's deliberately testing your ability to find him. I just have to find the library, right? Correct. Where is that, though? Have you not found it? There are multiple points of entry. <laughs> Thank you, we know that. <laughs> we heard that already. <laughs> oh, bother. Well, then perhaps a clue. 
I've been forbidden to disclose its location. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just funny to be like, solve my little riddles three and you'll be able to enter the library. <laughs> it's like, dude, just tell us. We need to go. Like, like you literally died. We just saved your life. What are you going on about? Uh, you can visit well, the library if you solve my riddles three. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, it's so ridiculous. I've been forbidden to disclose its location to you, but I can nudge you in the right direction. Is that okay? You're not gonna get in trouble, are you? I mean, he died. He did just say he was breaking the rules, so... Ah, uh, the kindness of youth. Don't worry for me, my boy. I've lived long enough that I know what I can take and what's deserved. What, are you gonna get whipped? <laughs> He's gonna get a big spanking. <laughs> I can assist you in many other ways, just not the location of the library. Not yet, at least. What other ways could you help me? I can manage it. Advice, insight, weapons, if you so desire. W weapons? Why would I need a weapon? All things considered, Dave, is it much of a surprise? You claim to have seen the results of what a weapon can do, and yet you balk at an offer to keep yourself adequately armed for self-defense. Because more weapons leads to more violence in real life. That's how weapons work. R fewer weapons leads to fewer violence, Benson. That's... <laughs> introducing weapons does not increase safety. Truthfully, I'm astonished. Oh, the offer is indeed genuine. There are many things around the manor that you could use, some less subtle than others. Um, i let you know later. Oh, actually, batteries. Can I have batteries? <laughs> wait, wait. I don't remember why he wants it? batteries. Why do you want batteries? Flashlight, maybe? I don't know. I don't remember. The flashlight out of batteries? Batteries? What the devil do you need batteries for, my boy? Oh, uh... In case the ones in my flashlight go flat. Heavens, and here I was thinking you were planning something with a car battery. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna torture. We're gonna torture it out of people. We're gonna Just put some. We're gonna put Batman's the car Alfred. batteries. Yeah, hook it up to their nipples. Uh, Batman's <laughs> Alfred shows up. It's like I can hook you up with weapons, information, anything you need, my boy. Yeah, you got double A's. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta play I, my Game Boy. I, I guess, like, it's probably like a <laughs> cupboard around here. Uh, just give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> there's a junk drawer over here, I yeah, think. Uh, paper clips. <laughs> 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 I can get double A batteries without standing up right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, come on, dude. I shall see what I can scrounge up and leave them in your room later. Oh, uh, that should be fine. Why are you playing so hot and cold with him about the batteries you literally asked him for, Dave? Yeah. Again, it seems we've gotten off track. Once you meet Oz, I'll be freer to talk. Until then, the key to finding the library is to talk to one of your friends. I wonder if it's the friend that talked about the library. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it's Roswell. One of my friends has found the library already? Wait, why does that sound familiar? A library. 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 I can confirm that yes, one of them has. After all, they've been here before. Benson's admission left me stunned. Someone had been here before? When? Why? Which one? It must have been a habit, with Benson playing with his mustache once more before replying. Unfortunately, that's all I can tell you for now. Benson turned away from the coffee pot, satisfied with how I was, it was coming along. Either it just took a long time to get going, or this was some sort of special slow roasting process I was unfamiliar with. I watched as he started to prepare breakfast. Pulling things out of the pantry that I hadn't noticed before. Muffins and the like. Almost as if it had been restocked recently. Is it normal to be concerned? 
Concerned about what, my boy? I just want to keep my friends safe. That's all. But I get the feeling that the more I mess with things, the harder I'm making it for myself. Ah, oh, grounded worries at that. For what it's worth, the master of the house is a decent person. Someone that I'd put trust in having a vested interest in things coming out for the best. But is that outcome everyone surviving? Would any other ending be as satisfying? So I can trust him, then. My question made Benson freeze, if only for a moment, before he continued preparing things at his usual pace. Decency and trust aren't mutually exclusive, my boy. It is something you will need to decide upon meeting him. Okay, but do you know who's behind it? Who'd want you dead? Or who's putting these images in my head? I do not. A lot of the enemies I once held are now long gone. For various reasons, mind you. But nothing I know of can assist in your understanding here. He literally he really, is just Batman's Alfred. I was gonna he's say, like, he, he really is Alfred. And, and not only that, he's like, he's cool Alfred from, from the show Gotham. Yeah, he's like, all of my enemies no longer exist. I can't tell you why or else I'd have to kill you. <laughs> just kidding, or am I? <laughs> it's just like, it's just ridiculous. He's oh my like, God. really murdered. Gotham is replaying in my brain now, and that is... what a ride. What an absurd gem of a show. It's so trash. It's incredible. Beautiful Batman nonsense. <laughs> but can I trust you? I believe the best way to answer that would be to say that if you can trust Oz, you can trust me. My loyalty to the master of the house guides me to act in his best interest. If his objectives align with yours, then consider me an ally. Bear in mind, I am still just a butler. Your decision to trust in me does not affect my duties around the house. Which I'm assuming after yesterday means that there's a likelihood that you may need some laundry done. What? What? Uh... Is he calling us stinky? Does he think we had an orgy? I don't know. <laughs> Is that what he thinks? <laughs> Did he think we all slept together in a large group? Like, I'm just like, what? What was specific about yesterday that meant laundry? Well, yeah, sorry oh, about that. Oh, he slipped... No, no, he didn't slip in the blood because no, because Benson's, Benson's not dead. <laughs> yeah, what? I'm trying to. I'm just trying to think like what made a mess. I don't know. It's Was been it... day seven for like six hours, so <laughs> I'm genuinely <laughs> losing track of what event he could be referring to. It's quite all right. Now, any other questions? Just one. By all means, my boy. What's on your mind? Do you think we're going to make it out of this okay? He literally just said that he thought that the master would be able to get you out of this for the best. <laughs> like, yeah, but not in most timelines. <laughs> like, this specific uh, group is fucked. <laughs> Some yeah. other timeline will eventually get out, but the, the people in this timeline are fucked. We're going to die. <laughs> Benson sighed out, going to play with his mustache, but stopping short. Perhaps he was lost in thought, searching for the right thing to say before he gave me a look. I couldn't place the expression exactly, but it was somewhere in the realm of worry. I can only hope so. We stood in silence, with Benson breaking before I did to continue preparing breakfast. Meanwhile, my eyes were on the floor, tired again. Coffee. I needed coffee. Me always needing coffee forever. Everything going all right in here? I jumped, not hearing Haas enter the kitchen. Haas! Oh, um... He just heard all of that, because he's the murderer. Oh, Master Haas, yes, everything is fine. Master Dave and I were just having a chat, that's all. 
I hear you all had a busy day yesterday and he had some concerns about my well-being. Well, truth be told, I heard much of it myself. Maybe they all got dirty searching for the gun? I don't... I don't... The pumpkin. Oh yeah, the pumpkin. That did the, happen. I forgot all about that. the pumpkin from a century ago? <laughs> I don't. I mean, I do remember it after you said it, but I don't really remember it very well. I was like, what do they need lunch for? <laughs> what was dirty? Right. I got covered in pumpkin jizz. I've got, mm -hmm. got pump cockade. Alright. <sighs> oh. Uh, oh, I see. Where have you been anyway? You've been scarce lately. Aw, oh, just resting the old bones. When you get to my age, you fall under the weather from time to time. Huh. Yep. Lying. <laughs> like lying cat. Lying. I, I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate him immediately clocking that as the actor and being like, he's got the, he's got his bullshit detector stat. Pardon? You're lying. Lying? What an amusing idea. Perchance, would you be willing to lend a hand with breakfast? A man with a keen sense such as you must make for some excellent conversation. See, perchance is a word that liars use. <laughs> sure, I don't mind giving a hand. What about you? You're gonna accept that change of topic, Hoss? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> sure, I don't mind giving a hand. What about you, Dave? Can I help out too? Wouldn't blame you if you wanted to head back out to the others, though. Dean and Tyson were getting antsy as to how long you were being. Wait. Dean and Tyson were getting antsy as to how long you were being. Yeah. You meant like how, long how long you were taking. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not sure how much of that was their want of coffee coming through. Hmm. I just branch. can't believe... I can't believe Haas is like... Laying. And then fucking that yep. Benson's like, what do you mean, my boy? <laughs> Me and would you like to make breakfast with me? You seem like an interesting conversation. And just Haas is like, oh, you complimented my ego. Yes, this sounds fine. And just yeah. completely <laughs> let's go of it. Like he I don't accuses think, I don't think someone. <laughs> I don't think he's been successfully tricked. And also like being able to instantly tell someone's lying doesn't necessarily mean that that, that, that he has reason to think the lie has uh, has like actual stakes necessarily. Sure. It's like, yep, this guy's lying to me. Anyway, but <laughs> didn't we iterate that we think one of us could be a murderer? So the fact that Hoss is like yeah, lying are, is like a lot of like characters aren't putting much heavy. stock into that right now. It just feels like they kind of are, though. Like they maybe could. not a lot of stock, but it's just sus. It's sus. I mean, at this as point, fuck. Sal doesn't believe us fully, and he's the one that has the most reason to be invested in this yeah. because he was the target of the first murder. Benson true. obviously believes in us because I'm pretty sure he just knows it's, that it's true and knows more yeah. about how it works on some level. Uh, you just you just don't think that after all of this weird shit that's happened, they take the measures to sleep in groups at night. They spend the whole day before stuck in a group that we meet with a mysterious guy who was supposed to die. He pulls us aside for a secret conversation. Two of our friends get anxious that we're taking a long time. So Haas comes in to check on us. And the first thing that happens is Haas goes, what are you up to? Yeah. He tells a lie. And then Haas goes, you're lying. And then immediately is like, Oh, whatever. It's fine. Like, it's just like, come he's on, dude. I don't, just, think, it's, you I don't think it's necessarily golden retriever. I think he just it plays it cool. Yeah, I think he, I think he's just playing it cool. But I think I think it's silly that he's not he's not attacking <laughs> that lie more. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, like, I don't think he's like over it. Like, oh, I guess he wasn't lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think that he doesn't think he was lying. I'm just surprised he, he just was like, all right, yeah, that sounds fun. We can make breakfast. Like, yep. think like, wait a minute, dude. I just called you out on lying. <laughs> now he's going to get now he's going to notice him lying even more. I kind of so want to see that conversation play out, honestly. <laughs> Me too. I want to see if he talks about it while they're making eggs. They get they get simmering sexual tension as they're making omelets. <laughs> 